this step, you guys, is so essential. It's actually insane. But like, hello, I don't even have highlight on, you guys. Like, what? You know what I mean? Like, it's so, it just brings your skin back to life. What's up, you guys? It is your girl, Jayla. In today's video, I'm going to be introducing Fab Fridays with Jay. So starting every Friday, I will be filming anything to do with makeup or glam content. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a total breakdown on how to make your makeup last all day. I'm constantly always asked, how does my makeup stay on all day? How does your highlight still look like that? And it's been like 10 hours. This is amazing if you have normal to oily skin, from dry skin to literally any type of skin type please comment down below any of the tips and tricks that you guys really enjoyed from today's video it'll help me out a lot and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel love yous okay you guys number one tip I cannot stress this enough make sure your skin is moisturized the more tacky it is and the more of like a little bit of a bounce it has the better and longer where your foundation is going to seep into your skin so make sure you moisturize beforehand do not moisturize like put it on and then go in with your foundation it's literally just going to slip right off so moisturizing is key but make sure it's at least like an hour before you put on your foundation tip number two Please, please, please use a primer. You absolutely need something for the foundation to grab onto your skin. If you don't really know what kind of primer you need, it really just goes back into skincare routine. Like if you have oily skin, maybe look for like a pro matte. Or if you have dry skin, look for a hydrating primer. Use a primer. <laughs> I'm just going in with the e.l.f. primer. This is their poreless putty primer. Again, I'm not like a huge, huge fan, to be completely honest, but like I said, it's better than going in with absolutely nothing. And I like to always rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. So I'm just putting it all on my skin. But yes, the entire point of a primer is to prepare the skin before you put on foundation. It's literally your primer. It's as if like you are priming a wall before you're about to paint it. Obviously you would always use primer. You should use primer on your face and on your skin before you apply your foundation. I see girls that literally just like, okay, where's my primer? Like it's like a serum. Like really get it and work it into your skin. The number one spot it tends to come off on people is right around their mouth and right around their nose because that's the area we tend to touch. Plus we tend to like eat. <laughs> We tend to eat, right? <laughs> we obviously eat and stuff like that. So anything like that is gonna wanna come off very quickly. So you want to really target the areas. I'm really targeting my brows because I get oily in these areas. So obviously I want the foundation to like right over there, you know? <laughs> okay, now that we're all primed, like see how my skin is like bouncy? You know what I mean? It has like a little bit of a sticky feel. That means anything going onto it is gonna wanna onto your skin. So now I'm going in with my foundation. This is the Hydrate and Smooth by Maybelline with the Too Faced Born This Way, like my contour shade, um, my contour concealer shade. So I'm mixing them together. I'm just mixing them together. Little potion, potion, commotion. When it comes to foundation, going in with a super expensive foundation isn't necessarily going to make your makeup last all day if you're not using the proper technique. So putting on foundation definitely comes down to the technique of how you're doing it. I like a full coverage look, so I always go in with the product first. I'm using a beauty blender. There are so many reasons why I believe in a beauty blender as opposed to a brush. Honestly, I find with a brush, you're just like smearing around the product and you're kind of just like moving it around. And when you go to blend it out, take some on the palm of your hand. You can kind of like shake up the product or obviously just get it on the palm. And then dab your beauty blender and then go and blend out your foundation because when you're doing that, you're not just blending everything away, you're pushing the product into your skin and you're keeping that full coverage look. So get up extra early, I don't care what it takes, but make sure you're taking that time 
Just now on to concealer. I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. This guy is super, super awesome. Love it. You definitely want to stay away from like thick, creamy concealers or concealers that are like oil based or like a sheer concealer just because it's literally not going to last or there's going to be way too much product under your under eye and that's what's going to cause it to crease because it just like can't handle it. It's almost like an overload. You don't want to have to build up concealer. Foundations and stuff like that, okay, but you don't want to have to ever build up concealer. I'm bringing it up as well. I look a little crazy. I'm also bringing it just right under my cheeky deekies. If you want your concealer to last all day, let it sit. Do not go in and blend it out right away. It's literally, you're blending out all the product that you just put on. So make sure you let it sit. Before going to blend out my under eye, you should focus on any other area that you have concealed. And you don't just wanna go, like you don't wanna just go blend it in right away. You actually wanna go in with leftover product or you can actually apply more product onto the palm of your hand. Dip it so that you're pressing in what you just applied as opposed to blending all away what you just applied. So, I want that cut look under my cheeks, so I'm blending that out first. And I'm just going back and forth and I'm pressing it into the skin. I'm not moving the beauty blender like this. And look up. The reason why I'm looking up is because my eye is right now lying flat as opposed to when I look forward and if I go to blend my crease out like that, I'm literally like creating, <laughs> my eyes already at like a crease right here. So the reason why you look up or if you don't wanna look up, you can look down like this and kind of like straighten and flatten your under eye. After you've blended out your concealer, the worst thing I see is people just being like, okay, I'm gonna do my brows now, or I'm gonna chill, and then like I'm gonna do my eyes. You want to set your face as soon as possible. Even me talking right now, like the more I'm talking, the more I'm creating creases in my face and creases under my eye. So the first thing you want to do is set your under eye and set your entire face, then go in to your next step. Another huge tip, I constantly, like to have my beauty blender damped or dampened. Is that a word? <laughs> I like to always have it damp. I find like as you're using it, it tends to absorb product and get like drier. So I always like to re-dampen it because like I said, that's gonna really help blend out your product. Now I'm just going in with my favorite translucent powder. This is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just literally making sure there are no creases Number one thing, always, I'm not baking just yet, I'm actually just setting my under eye, but number one thing, always go in under your under eye first before setting any other area, because as mentioned, it is the first area to crease. But now that everything is set under my under eye, now I can go and set the rest of my face. The Beauty Blender is really going to push that product into your skin. I cannot stress this enough, you guys. This step, you guys, is so essential. It's actually insane. I feel like a lot of girls just set their under eye and that's it. And if they want to bake this, they just set that. You have to set your entire face because you literally have foundation on your entire face. Do not forget your forehead. A lot of people like to neglect that part and not like just your forehead here but your forehead around the hairline because that's where you apply your bronzer and that's where the first place it'll break because you didn't set it. I love to use setting sprays like honestly three or four times before actually being done my makeup look. I just find my makeup looks so much more clean so much more like my skin, especially since I'm layering so much product, like I'm putting on like two coats of foundation, I'm also putting on powder, and then I'm baking, and then I'm bronzing, and blah, 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 blah. So you really wanna make sure you're going with setting spray, not just at the end. You need to bake in order for your makeup to stay on all day. That is literally the entire purpose of baking. I cannot stress this enough. When it comes to baking, the same steps, you wanna either look down or look up. 
you want to make sure you smooth out any creases that may already exist. And you literally, you want to drag like that. And then wherever else you want it, I'm going to bring it in a little bit here. Like that. And drag. And I'm dragging up. I'm not dragging to the side here. The whole point is to lift your face up <laughs> and snatch it. And with the Fenty Beauty, of course, my thing is really dirty, so ignore that. But I'm going in with Island Ting. Just keep the bronzer upwards because we're pulling our face up. I always like to place the product on my forehead and then blend everything out. I'm gonna have to fix my edges, but it's okay. <laughs> but you also wanna make sure that you have set your nose. A lot of people like to just bake their under eye and kind of forget about their nose. That's gonna be the number one product or like number one area, I should say, where the makeup's gonna wanna come off because it hasn't been set, especially if you have oily skin. <laughs> It's not gonna like you very much. So the top of your ear is a great way to use as a guidance or a great little guidance point I should say and then you're going to Use the top and swish. So now I'm just going in with a little bit more powder <laughs> just a little bit and Now you can add More product on where you need it. This is just with the leftover product of my finished off baking I'm going in over here and I'm just gonna put a little bit here to bake and a little bit I always like to like prep my brows with some powder because I always find like my most sheeny part is right here and I'm just wiping away the product and now I'm gonna go in on my forehead but see how this is dark like bronzer bronzer and we have that nice little highlighted area that is because of baking this would not be brighter if I did not bake and you want to make sure you get rid of it all and don't leave any on. The MAC Fix Plus Radiance plus Vitamin C is literally life changing. Like I'm already obsessed with their Fix Plus, their just like original formula. The new one, it has such radiance to it. It's cr like, well, it's crazy. I want to use it, but I really don't have much left, which means I'm going to get a lot of dots on my face, so I'm not going to use that one. But I am going to go in with their original formula just because I do have a little bit left. When you're going in with this, use a lot. Do not just be like, okay, and then you're done. Like, don't just do that. Like I said, I like to go in several steps, and I like to always set my face at least two to three times before the end result. So this is going to be my second time. And do it everywhere. Like everywhere. Like your face needs to look like wet at the end. You'll see what I mean when you start layering your setting spray. Life changing. But like, hello, I don't even have highlight on you guys. Like, what? You know what I mean? Like, it's so, it just brings your skin back to life. And if you still find, like, okay, you know what, my skin's still looking a little cakey, I don't know, you can always go in with more. That's, like, the beauty of this. Like, with baking, if you ever found you bake too much, you can always go ham with the setting spray afterwards. So, I really don't want to hear any excuses of, I look too powdery when I bake, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, is your makeup staying on all day? No, it's not. Well, then, I don't want to hear any complaints. So I'm just gonna do my brows and my eyes off camera and I will be right back. I am back, my eyes and eyebrows are on. So I'm ready to go. So now I'm gonna be going in with a little bit of Becca blush. <laughs> Forgot what I was gonna say. It is the Luminous Blush in the color Camila. I'm literally obsessed with this blush, you guys. It's literally so pink. I would show you guys, but it's crushed. The only thing I like about things being crushed is that they add more pigment. Like, can we just talk about how pink and like, oh, so nice. Cute. Little tip when you're putting on blush, smile. So that you get it right, I like a lot of blush. <laughs> right where you smile. Now I'm gonna be going in again for a third spray, third like setting spray. <laughs> and it's just so we can bring the skin back to life again before we go in with some highlights. See, your face should be wet like that. And then dry, 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 dry. 
I have some dots going on. That's why you want to dry it down as fast as possible so that those dots don't just like stay on your face. Basically, the more wet they are and the longer it stays on your face, the more it's gonna likely dry like that. That's why you wanna try to dry it down super, 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 super quick. <laughs> See, no more dots. Ah, look how I'm like dewy, perfect. Again, I still don't have highlight on guys and <laughs> like perfect. So now I'm gonna finish off with the lips. This is the MAC World Lip Liner. Absolutely obsessed. So I like to just start I only over lip line like the smallest bit. I don't really do anything too crazy. Um, now I'm going in with the color Honey Love by MAC again. Obsessed, this is like a mattified shade. Super pretty. It's kind of like a pinky nude. Definitely more on the cool tone side, but I'm still obsessed with it. So I'm just going in with the lip shiner in Slip and Shine, literally the nicest nudie pink. And it just makes your lips look like, oh my god. Like, so nice, killer. Mm. Now I'm going in with the Laura Geller, hopefully it's Laura Geller and not Geller, but Laura Geller highlight. Super nice, and I'm just using a Morphe M510 highlight brush, and just like, oh, it's so pigmented. I like to kind of like go like this, and then build up. Dab, 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 like honey. If you like to look glowy, this is the highlight for you. And I'm just gonna go on the tip of my nose a little bit. And up here, and down here. I think this is the fourth or the third time. I haven't even been able to keep track because I go in so many times with this. I'm gonna go in for the last time with the Fix Plus just to really make everything look perfect, y'all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Unfortunately, my camera went and died on me. Hope everyone enjoyed these life-changing hacks and thanks for tuning in.